bring your drawing to top view start with line click anywhere on the screen bring your cursor upward for 130 units and to your right for 100 units move your cursor downward for 20 units and to your right again for 50 units upward for 55 units to your right for 75 downward for 200 75 to your left bring your cursor upward for 55 units and then 50 to your left 20 downward and close I'm just gonna adjust the screen or the windows before you proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap and uh, right click from hover over the polar tracking icon right click and select tracking setting and make sure your 45 degree angle is current or if it's not present you can click new and add the angle but in this case uh, it is here so I'm just just click this drop down arrow and select 45 to make 45 degree current as shown here all right the next thing to do is uh, create circle but we're not going to use uh, construction line so C for circle command enter shift right click and select temporary track point and just hover over the endpoint and move your cursor to the right and enter 20 and move downward for 20 units type D for diameter option and enter 20 let's repeat the process right click to repeat circle shift right click select temporary track point hover over the endpoint and enter 20 and enter 20 again and type D for diameter option and enter 20 now we're gonna apply chamfer on these corners the distance from this point to this point here so this these are the two distances that we need for in order to apply chamfer but it's not given as you can see here the distance or the hypotenuse is 10 units so we're gonna solve that by using AutoCAD drawing and not math so line click anywhere on the screen followed at 45 degree angle and enter 10 units and just bring down your cursor and follow that green dash line and then track and click that in point that's 10 this one is 7.0711 and since it's 45 degrees it's equal 7.0711 so select chamfer click distance option and enter 7.0711 and specify second distance chamfer and just click enter it uh, remembers the last input enter again and select this um, first line then second line right click to repeat chamfer and this time click multiple option from the bottom so we don't have to redo it every time or enter the command every time just click this first line second line first line second line
I'm just gonna erase that now I'm gonna join the broken segments so type J for join command right click and select the whole thing now this is one object I'm gonna bring the drawing to southwest isometric and extrude that one for 75 units so extrude this one upward for 75 I'm just gonna use uh, wireframe I have to extrude this too extrude upward higher than this height and select subtract command from the ribbon click the object you want to keep right click and select these two cylinders I'm gonna show you what happened there you go I'm gonna bring this to a wireframe and bring this drawing to southwest isometric maximize this drawing and bring it to top view type flat shot and then uh, if this line type is not present here click other and select load and select any of these uh, dash lines I'm just gonna cancel click OK if it's here and then create I'm just gonna put it here accept the X scale factor is one so accept then accept again accept again now I'm gonna bring my drawing to front view so flat shot again create and create somewhere here just accept enter enter and then bring your drawing to right view flat shot create I'm gonna put it above accept accept now I'm gonna bring my drawing to top view Now this one is my front view so what I'm gonna do is uh, rotate this one and hover over this red circle and just bring it upward move this one under the top view and rotate this one this is a side view so what I'm gonna do is um, hover over the blue circle and once it turns gold just rotate it facing here and then rotate this red circle upward and then I'm gonna move this one in line with this one here and then bring my drawing to southwest isometric and then flat shot I'm gonna get this view here great I'm gonna paste this one here just accept click enter and then top view this one looks like uh, it's 3d but when you turn it around it's actually flat so this is like the perspective so top view this tree have exact dimension okay I'm gonna DI make sure this one 130 
and the flat shot it's 130 the height is from here to here 75 and this one the dimension is not it's a perspective the dimension is not correct but if you put it on top of the southwest isometric for a 3d it looks like it's exact but i don't know why it wouldn't uh, it's not congruent but since it's taken from a different view and flattened so i think that's the reason anyway thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for your notification and see you again